Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of the NAF Rules Cup. I got a pretty unlucky first round draw and then I got Talk Talk Talk, a perennial chalice competitor in Blood Bowl 2. Also he has Imperial Nobility, so this is a, a banana skin of the highest order. <laughs> <laughs> because, um, <laughs> because you know, uh, you know, Dimmy will never, ever, ever let me live it down if I lose this game. So, yep, that makes it particularly tough. Um, but interesting. It, it's very, it's a very tough draw. Uh, not knobs are not a good team, but you know, it's yeah, it's it's the risk versus reward of playing them. Um, Necro, I was talking about this on stream before, but I'll, you know, now we'll go for the. The uh, talk on on here. Um, the the problem that you have is a bash team is you've got a lot of AV nine plus and the players that you want you to expose as the positional blitzers are the wraiths and the fleshies, but you really can't afford to lose them. So like it's really weird, right? Like in an ideal world, your opponent's like, "Oh man, I've got to, I've got to try and blitz this guy who's got a foul appearance, and oh, I've got to try and blitz this guy who's got a, who's got strength four and stand firm." But then, you know, it makes them, it puts them under a lot of pressure. I wanna, I wanna kill his, uh, I wanna kill his guy. Now how do I do that? Lock him into there. Lock him into there, move him into there. Who can I blitz? Maybe this guy afterwards, I don't really know. Okay, so a bit of a, a bit of anti blitz, and uh, hello, Coach Morg as well. Coach Morg, of course, running the NAF ladder and the NAF cup. So thank you very much. Incredible. Right, I could cover the ball here. Um, I can also get up to there. So let's let's put this guy here. Here. I don't have my auto clicker on. <laughs> Which makes the game about a million times more comfortable to play. Approximately. He doesn't have friends, he does, he's got tackle. further back. Ah, I removed him. Well, that was unlucky, wasn't it? I think I just have to blitz with the fleshy. I could blitz this guy, but then I'd be exposing myself. Way. <laughs> I don't really want to do that. 
I do want to blitz because blitzing is good. I don't really know what he's going to do, honestly. That was a long term, wasn't it? Maybe I'm talking too much. I'll try to talk less and think more or talk on my opponent's turn. Yes, exactly, Adev. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, like, having uh, your positional. So, like, you still want, you know, if they're just trying to remove a player, you still want them to hit a uh, a zombie. But if they're trying to bits for position, you want them to be hitting a guy with stand firm and a guy with sidestep. But go on, mob. It's fair enough, Betty Bartos. Seven dialogues, yeah. Do we need all the blitz but with block? Yep, yeah, that's reasonable. I mean, is that that wall should have gone one back, eh? It's gonna hit the. hit the wolf. Kazit, GG. Yeah, like you losing any position is horrendous for Necro. It's weird. Maybe he should have gone back a little bit. Oh my god. Okay, not Kaz, thank god. <laughs> I'll just punch armor 7 and nothing happens and then... Uh, he gets an instant AV break, is completely standard practice, of course. I feel like I've left a, this a little bit, the, the middle a little bit open. I don't know what you think here. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit open. Can't get all the way around there, it's not that fast. Kales don't count when they're on uh, mobs, do me. <laughs> hey, good ogre. This is weird, isn't it? I'm fully, I'm fully committed to this side just to like try and make a couple of blocks, which isn't great. And he's got a lot of guard. Mm. 
Well, hey, wrestle shit though, isn't it? The great thing is, wrestle is shit. <laughs> the saving grace against Imperial nobility is that wrestle is shit. Do you know what? I probably should have put this guy. No, no. It doesn't matter. I can punch him in there, but God. Well, unless he pals this guy. Maybe I should have put the ghoul there so I could punch him next turn. Mm -hmm. This is not going to be easy, though. It isn't. Like, they do count a necro in that they've got Fend for the Frenzy, and they've got Stand Firm, and they've got loads of guard. Like,. They're tricky. They are tricky. For the necro. <laughs> not not a hard counter because they're OP, but they're surprisingly tricky even though they're still rubbish. You could foul this tackler, that would be a play, wouldn't it? surf this uh, peasant, couldn't I? He's definitely not blitzing. And I guess he isn't blitzing either. Can't fucking wrestle. <laughs> what a prick. Right, <laughs> now let's give a shit about, after all that, let's give a shit about the ball. I'd like a guy there to stop him assisting, right? But I don't really want him to smash into my cage. Fuck it, I guess he's gonna. Anyway, two down, that's good. Unfortunately, get some hits back. Never surf, never surf here, Dev, never surf. I did the right thing, I used the blitz there anyway, I didn't try the surf. 
Good gym, didn't try the surf. Hmm. Yes, let's do nothing. That takes me away from a guard, doesn't it? And another assist. I mean, the, the fend wouldn't have mattered, right? Because I could have, um, I could have done that block. I could have taken the push, and then I could have blitzed with a ball carrier. Uh, oh God, I mean, I guess I could have been wrestled. I could have blitzed with a wolf. Um, so I probably just should have done that. Honestly, I probably should have just. I probably should have taken the serve. I guess better than this guy getting wrestled. Oh, he could have. He could have pushed. No, this is a blitz. This is a blitz. He couldn't have pushed him on the ball. Okay. Thought he could have pushed him onto the ball, but um, yeah, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have gone for the serve. Wrestle. Not terrible, is it? Like I'd rather not have to stand up. Obviously, like th this sucked because defended his AV7 player. But yeah, I should have just. I should have gone for the serve. Actually, shit. I think I should have. I think I, I think I think I should have given myself the chance to go for the surf. Like I really like this blitz. I did really like this blitz, but um... one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine surf. <laughs> it's actually really tempting, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then GFI. And then uh, surf him. And then I remove a blodger. Oh, I need two assists in there, though. Him, so that's still got. Cage. Um. Do I want to keep him where he is, or do I want to? I guess this guy should have replaced the um, ghoul there. Shit. Mm. Well, next turn we start moving down the field, I guess. That big stun. He does get to use all of his guards to hit the fleshies, but then that's leaving him really exposed on the other side. It's not going to OT, Dimmy, in a normal time. But yeah, I'll try and talk better. And maybe I'm in the in the uh, in the 
in the kind of even though I haven't explained much yet, so obviously I was using the flesh eater blitz this guy four dice on him 75 it's like 94 percent to knock him over um thought that was pretty good with claw and then move around to here so that it can go either way even though it does give up hits on the fleshies um, yep yeah maybe maybe it he probably would have gone for that surf wouldn't he it was difficult though because you did need two assists to uh to do that hit well you needed assist there and then you need an assist there which you also needed for the surf from the other one as well right so actually you could have put a player there and a player there hit him there then hit him there and surfed him it actually was a pretty good surf like it genuinely was a pretty decent surf It actually was a pretty, pretty decent serve. Maybe I should have gone for it. But I didn't like, I didn't like the GFI, right? That was the problem. I didn't like that it involved a GFI. That was my main problem with it. With If I had three re-rolls, I would have gone for it, I think. But, um, but the main problem was the re-rolls. Exactly, you can't fail, so you don't attempt. Yep. It is swings and roundabouts. But also I want to score, don't I? So this, this, like... This is great for scoring. He's got, like, what, five players? Six players on two. <laughs> so this is pretty incredible for scoring. Six players on two. somewhere That's hard for the tackler to get there. Well, it's not that hard, is it? 4-3. So maybe I need another player here. Or, oh, that guy's moved already. He should have just been there and then gone there to stop and get the 3 plus out. 4-3 is actually quite easy for him. Annoyingly. I really wanted to put this guy in there as well. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck, this guy should have been here. Okay, so now maybe he can come in there. Don't have to base, do I? And then he covers round the back. Ah, oh, he should have been one over. Is making that screen good? It probably doesn't matter, does it, actually? Hmm. 
Yep. If I'd had a bit of forethought, if I'd had a bit of forethought there, I could have put him in the correct square. But never mind. I could have put, I could have put this zombie here, and then this this wraith could have been here, and this wraith could have been there, and that would have been incredible, or like there. That would have been incredible if both if both wraiths had been here. But I, once I put that zombie in the wrong square, because I just didn't want him to get out that way. But if I'd thought of the both fleshies, both wraiths being here, then that keeps him in anyway. But, um, never mind. Okay, bad fleshy. Okay, well, he does his job, doesn't he, the, uh, the wrestle, but he's only got two players here, and he's, so he's still got four versus fucking eight or whatever. I could do safe moves first, couldn't I? That is an idea. Oh, it's a dodge. I can't do that safe move. Okay, I've got a blitz then. <laughs> I think this is okay. That's what I think, because it's pretty hard for him to get around the back with this guy, right? He's got to like, he's got to dodge out and then dodge all. Like that's really hard to get around the back way. And even if he powers him, there's still just nothing around the back. Because I could have followed and punched him again. Maybe I should have done right. Just more punches is better. But then. Then I'm making a gap here to then he could then maybe get through there a lot easier. Like he can power this guy right and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Oh god, no, where is he there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, yeah. So if I follow and then he powers, then it's like some dodges to hit the ball. Maybe, maybe I should have just got the extra hit. <laughs> now, I was thinking that this was safer, but actually, maybe I should have just made the fucking hit. Getting hits is good, isn't it? That's how Blood Bowl works. Dave would have made the hit. This guy get cast, for fuck's sake. Wasn't paying any attention at all to that zombie. Outbashed. Outbashed by bloody knobs. Disappointing.
And I could have powered that guy, right? I could have just followed up and powered him. What an idiot. <laughs> and instead he's killed. I could have killed him and he's going, I've just got to, I've got to stop thinking. I've just got to stop thinking and start banging. That's my biggest weakness, I would say. Oh yes, I make a nice, better defensive shape. Who cares? That was a two dice block. Two dice blocks over everything. Right. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Writing this down on my uh, sheet. He's making all of his dodges. What a fool. I'd probably just score, right? And trust that he can't score in two turns because knobs are shit. Is probably the play here. <laughs> I know it, Dave. I'm stupid. It's stupid of me. It's really stupid of me. Oh, I'm so dumb. Imagine thinking like positioning matters at all. An absolute fool. save that formation, shouldn't I? It's annoying because I thought I'd learned this lesson. But I'm not moping. I'm not moping or anything. I mean, I've just I've got air to fill. <laughs> I can't just, just I can't just sit here not saying anything, can I? <laughs> you know, that's the problem. You can't just sit there silent. You can't just ignore chat for an entire stream, can you? You know, you've got to, you've got to read chat, and you've got to, you've got to fill the dead air constantly. So um, <laughs> I'm not Steve Martin, you know. <laughs> um, no, absolutely not. This defense, by the way, is really good if you do the chevrons. You can put your ghouls here because obviously they can't blitz the ghouls, right? Because that just they can't get forward if they waste a blitz here so you can put your soft delicious targets here knowing that they can't be blitzed and then you can put you know either the side step or the stand firm whichever on the sides or the inside <laughs> I don't think so more ready I don't think so um what happened was Val the third I valued um, making a stronger screen over two dicing his tackle blitzer, which was idiotic. I should have smashed his tackle blitzer. And if I'd smashed his tackle blitzer, I would have probably got another turn of stall because the only thing that matters is two dice blocks and numbers, as uh, as a dev rightly said. Blood ball is about two dB and numbers. I do I'm gonna put that on the uh, put that on the Discord there. Words of wisdom from A Dev. Looks like he is gonna smash a ghoul. <laughs> I hope not. 
He hasn't got a throw, has he? What a noob. This is the problem with Necro, honestly. It's just too easy to just get banged out. They're like, they're like human level of durability, aren't they? I know they've got the regen, but on a drive, they basically have human level durability, which is... It's not good enough for a bash team, is it? It's just not good enough. <laughs> Two off the LOS and a stun, like... It's just not good enough. So, um... I'm happy that I'm going Dark Elves now. Forever. So yeah, he completely, easily clears the LOS and gets through. I nearly went set up, you know, aggressive chevrons. That is slightly better, isn't it? Because if I was here, he'd still have to dodge. I mean, okay, do it eight times out of nine, but it would make it. Would, I guess he just wouldn't have followed there. But it would still made things harder for him, actually. So I guess he'd have had to make one of these a blitz on the LOS. Yeah, I think I'm going Dark Elves for forever on tabletop. Way. <laughs> Very good, Dimmy. Oh, no, I'm not thinking Chovs, no. No, I'm, Chovs are dead for tabletop, uh, like NAF style. Absolutely dead for, for, for NAF style, because Ironhard skin is useless, right? For, for NAF style, Ironhard skin is it, Ironhard skin is essentially useless, and losing tackle is horrendous. So, um, so no for 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 for, for tabletop. I think actually Chorfs will be a little bit better in like progression, right? Um, like you know, like ladder, ladder kind of thing. Will be a little bit better. I feel a GF5 here. Oh damn it. Well, I wasn't expecting him to just literally roll all of the dice. <laughs> but here we are. All of the dice have been rolled. <laughs> Pretty annoying. Not gonna lie. He might have won Chalice. He was in it a lot. No, I just couldn't stall Baron Bookie. I, I idiotically concentrated on making a safe screen. And uh, that was the end of that.
Um, this isn't bad, is it, to be fair? How say we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. How's him eating ground? I guess this is the weaker side. Is that worth it? Probably not. I shouldn't have stacked them, should I? Shouldn't have stacked them. That was dumb. That was dumb. Shouldn't have stacked them. I'm so used to like having multiple rerolls and just stacking things to get where I want to go. That was like Blood Bowl 101. Don't stack GFIs, right? I can put that on the Discord there. That's a good basic uh, thing to learn after, you know, 15,000 hours. <laughs> yes, that's the idiotic Dior spiel, isn't it? No offence to Dior, of course. He's a funny guy. And uh, a lovely fella. And a lot of what he says about Blood Bowl would be applicable if Blood Bowl was a competitive game. I don't like Necro. I don't like Necro. Never again for the Necro. That's my verdict. got to try and like out bash him right but he can just foul me this is the problem now he's got a dirty player and he's just gonna fucking gang foul if he knocks over good players <laughs> Did I say never again, Necro? No, no, the, the, I, I won with Necro, didn't I? I won with Necro. Didn't I? No, I won with Orcs. Oh, shit, yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't qualify with Necro, did I? And now I'm not going to qualify with Orcs either. What a shitter. Only Dark Elves. 
Only dark elves. No, Punter. Um, I don't give a shit about Chalice uh, for the first X games, right? Like 64, it's nonsense. On, on this, of the 64 people in Chalice, probably like, you know, <laughs> 32 I don't want to watch. I want Super League with Orcs and Blitzpit with Necro, yeah. Yeah, that's correct, Steve. Yeah. Nobody won uh, Blitzpit with Necro, right? I think. I think um, PC won with Dwarves. And then... Rick? Did Rick win Season 2? No, Dave all won Season 2. Dave all won with Necro, maybe. Maybe Dave all won with Necro Season 2. Um, then Rick won with Tomb Kings. Can we? Then I won with Orcs. Then Sea Bros won with Dark Elves. So yeah, I guess Dave will win with Necro. I imagine he used Necro to win. <laughs> yeah, honestly, Bash teams are just shit, aren't they? Like, especially armor rate bash teams just get banged out. It's too easy to get banged out. Is the big problem. The seven guard uh the seven guard orcs was pretty good even though even though I did lose my first uh, my first two games with them, I feel like obviously I played an idiot. The first turn, the first two turns versus three, I played terribly. But I feel like there was also uh, I feel like there was just you know, there was bad luck as well. The white fat sound effect, yeah. Never hate the dice. There's no there are no dice. I mean there's some dice this game. <laughs> but regen anyway. So if these KOs come back, I'm okay in overtime. But my only chance is overtime, I think. <laughs> Thought that was a really good blitz, you know, obviously completely sacrifices all position, but um ninety four percent to knock down his ogre with A V seven was pretty good, wasn't it? I quite like Nurgle. I mean, I did pretty well with Nurgle over the years. I've got no players. I don't think I can realistically try and stop the score, so I like going for his best player. It was good. I do go up this tackle hit, though, don't I? Which isn't brilliant.
Nurgle good against bombers, yeah, yeah. I think the best thing against bombers is to have, you know, dwarves or orcs, <laughs> so that at least, at least you can, uh, you can have a bomber of your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anti vamp, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Foul appearance is really good, isn't it? Actually, really good foul appearance. Cancelling the entire move of the Hypno Gears. Try again. Get wrestled. <laughs> Yeah, just you can just have orcs, right? And then you can have your own bomber. If you're playing dwarves, not only do you have orcs, you also get bomber dribble snot, which is insane. It's interesting that you know we get to experience the full, the full bomber meta on Blood Bowl three. Like you know, obviously that's been curtailed on Fumble. But at least a season to see if they are as stupid as people think, I think is very reasonable. Oh wait, it was Cindy Norse how uh, <laughs> how how Cheergan went fifteen and oh. Wait, was Cheergan's was just Cheergan's cause it's twelve two one Ogres that same season was Cindy. <laughs> Cindy Ogres Cindy <laughs> Just all Cindy. Yeah, yeah, it was. I look I looked at the first game. I looked at the first game. And uh, and the fir literally the first game of the Ogres, he had Cindy, so I stopped watching, and I was like, all right, well, <laughs> that's that explained then. <laughs> that's that explained. I mean, yes, Chigan is is obviously better than most people on Fumble. I wouldn't uh, deny that. I mean, you can watch the first game of the Ogres, and it's it's he's got Cindy, so it's just a fact. Unfortunately, I've got no fucking players, have I? Just gonna uphill the ogre. Just lie down now and wait for the overturn. Jump, jump, jump. Working properly, machine. 
I know it's Wednesday, it's a short day, isn't it? Just not here. I'm not I'm not in I'm not in uh I'm not in commentary to be fair. No, oh, the ball's miles away. He's, I've got no players. Like I can't do anything against him. I couldn't even attempt to stop the score. There's literally no players. Maybe I shouldn't have moved the fleshy away from the old guy. Oh, because I can't chain him back or anything because he's got stand firm. So. so yeah, maybe I should. I quite like the idea of like you know trying to stop his tackler hitting my goal, but I guess it's more important to just keep hitting his old guy. No, he can't do anything but can he? If he scores early, he's just asking to lose. It's really hard to defend. <laughs> it's, re it's, just, it's just too hard to defend, basically, in Blood Bowl. So I could blitz this one, and that gives me my fleshy back. <laughs> yeah, there's like the the thing about BBT is um there's like not many top players on fumble, right? So people people get very good records. So, you know, no doubt Chigan is one of the best players on fumble. But being one of the best players on Fumble and going 12-2-1 with Augers is mental. But being one of the best players on Fumble and going 12-2-1 with Cindy Augers, <laughs> reasonable. <laughs> Yeah, like in BBT, there's Malmia, Elliot, Chirgund, right? And Wintergreen, I don't know how good he is. I mean, I don't know that the others are good. But Wintergreen seems to do well, doesn't he? And, uh, and Art this season. <laughs> this season there's Artemis. I could put him there and then I could 2D him and I could 1D him and then I could get the fleshy around. Ugh, I just gotta punch what I can. I just punch what I can punch, which is him. Brilliant. <laughs> Happy Grew put his best players on the LOS versus Artemis, so I don't know how good he is. <laughs> Jan Eric is banned. <laughs> Jan Eric is banned. So. Yeah, that was that was such a weird first turn against Art. 
Oh, I've still got to choose this. There's one space and I've got to choose it. I was waiting for his friend. Not the fact that I had to choose the one space that I had to choose. Yeah, he was uh, very, very abusive in chat to somebody. So got banned. I mean, I don't know if it's permanent or what. Run away with a gal. Good. Uh, well, that's interesting, Agrelius. I would say probably equal. But if you're a good BB3 coach, then the average on BB3 will be higher. And uh, I'll tell you why. Because why, while the coach ranking aspect of Blood Bowl 3 isn't great, right? At least the very worst players on... Blood Bowl 3 are in bronze and the best players are in platinum or master or whatever so you know you'll start the season in like diamond or do you start in diamond or if you anyway if you're starting in diamond you're not playing the bronze players ever right or the silver players ever so if you play a lot and you're a good player on Blood Bowl 3 you will never play the bronze or the silver players or, or at least very rarely whereas uh, yeah Blood Bowl 3 is segregated yeah whereas um, whereas on Blood Bowl on Fumble you play everybody also what you have on Fumble is due to the BBT you have bad players playing bad teams as well <laughs> <laughs> which is also interesting isn't it because if a bad player has orcs or dwarves then you know things can still happen but if that bad player has you know um halflings it's a lot harder for them oh god okay regen three regens is good three kaz and two ko's this drive i'd say is unlucky but um at least three out of four regions is good. <laughs> Stupid. Um, I mean, that's art, right? His, to be fair, his argument for not playing races was to complete the run and get more games played on the site, right? Which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, interesting. Uh, I think that's kind of reasonable, right? The BBT teams are in a competition and they're playing teams that aren't in the same competition. It's a bit weird. <laughs> it really is. Like, I think that's a, certainly a valid... A valid thing. Yeah, but it's but they're not in the same competition. Like uh, you can you can surely you can surely. Oh yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I think other people being in the same competition you're in is a completely reasonable thing to think. <laughs> exactly, exactly, uh, exactly help. And the thing that Art wanted was just a checkbox to um, to only spin into BB teams, you know, that was up to you. So it would be harder for you to get games, but you would only play other BBT people, which which is quite reasonable. I think that's completely reasonable. <laughs> yes, I mean, essentially, yes, the don't play DACA checkbox, yeah. Or anybody else with like a stupid, you know, min maxed or developed team. 
and you it'll take you longer to get games and and then okay my if everybody checks it then Dakar and that can't play games in the black box but then okay then then he's in then he's induced to play VPT isn't it I also think that's silly as well here, Dev. I don't think Fumble's perfect. Well, I'll tell you what Fumble reminds me of. I'll tell you what Fumble reminds me of. Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> right? <laughs> and you may think that this is, a, this is a weird thing to remind me of. But the thing with Fumble is, right, you know, you look at Blood Bowl 3 and there's customers. <laughs> and you look at Fumble and there isn't. You know, it's like one of those episodes when there was like a few, a few, you know, grannies and granddads going in to get like the cheap dinners and the owners are like, you know, thinking, well, we've, we've got, you know, we've got Tim and Sally. We don't want to upset them. We don't want to upset the, th the three customers we've got left. And uh, rather than thinking, you know, how can we get more customers? Now, I realize, of course, that they're not actually customers in a... Uh, in Fumble, um, because it's just uh, it's just Krista, and he's not making any money. But you know, the principle is the is the kind of the same, isn't it? Well, there's just there's just not many people there. Like it's understandable, right? There's not many people playing on Fumble. It doesn't mean that they're wrong or anything, but it me it means that you know Krista just hasn't got that many people playing on Fumble, so he wants to make it good for the few people that are there, rather than thinking about potential people that might not come, right? Like it's completely reasonable. I'm not I'm not saying it's uh, bad in any way. Oh my God, it's overtime as well. Fuck you, game. I'll lose the toss. But I got 11 players for a turn at least. I know you can't. I know you can't compete. But what I'm saying is there's steps that could be taken to attempt for... Um, because I just didn't care about the Team Zebras. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry that I don't care about uh, um, changing my teams. Um... Wait. Do I only have 11? Oh, he's in the fucking end zone. Wait, was he in the end zone all last half? No, no, he couldn't have been. Jesus, maybe he was. Nobody will ever know. Oh my God, what if he was there in the end zone last half? I don't, I don't, even, I don't even know. So dumb, isn't it? I did some weird setup because I didn't have, I only had one zombie to set up. But maybe I didn't. <laughs> no, because I had two, I had two KO'd. I had two KO'd. No, no, I had two KO'd, so that that was correct. That was correct. I, I only had... I had two zombies KO'd that stayed KO'd. So, uh... I started, I started with nine players. And then took f three more cards. If he scores quickly, he can't lose. Which is annoying, so I don't really want him to... I really don't really want to let him score quickly. And if I, if I if I let him, I've got to, I've got to stop him scoring, haven't I? I just have to stop him scoring. I 
I mean, it's not grey, is it? But... Nah, I want to win in normal time, don't I? No, not normal time, in overtime. I don't want to go to kicks. Because I'm 50% of winning kicks, aren't I? So, even like, you know, if he scored in two, I'd, I'd back myself to make it 2-2, two -two, but that's not good enough, is it? I'm 50% so I've got to try and turn him over I've got to try to turn him over and win 2-1 after overtime don't watch the board Nob struggle on the offense. They, they don't versus nine players that, that, that <laughs> make three Kaza gains. But uh, yeah, do have the full 11 this time, so there's a chance. They are indeed closing a washing line, yes. Yes, oh yeah, dear. They are ghosts that are closed on a washing line. Yeah, you can see the socks. <laughs> The whole like necro models are all just like jokes. Oh, well, that's interesting, isn't it? commit though do I ah, how annoying not sure I can slam in the guards to uh, stop him He did quite a good anti-blitz defense, right? In terms of protecting his guys from getting hit by wolves. I'll just go for the, if he fails to pick up, he loses. The classic blitz into expose ghouls and wolves. Expose all players to getting hit and give up more hits. Well, obviously getting a blitz wasn't annoying, did he? But, you know, he, he had annoyingly set up pretty well against me getting hits off the blitz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just gave up a wolf to get hit. Okay, not dead. I mean, the, the pickup is still very, very dodgy for him. And making the ball safe is pretty dodgy for him. So this is still pretty decent.
The best thing about this is that I'm fully onto Dark Elves after this game. <laughs> I'm pretty certain I made my mind up for the World Cup and uh, beyond. Tabletop. Back to tabletop. Glorious. Obviously just being funny, yeah. Trying to be funny. You're looking for there, Raider. Banter. Yeah, sounds like a... Nah, it's just gonna iron cage it. Fair enough. Makes the pick up, no problem. He's not eye coaching. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Okay. That's pretty nice, isn't it? It's a GF. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can punch him first. A blockless block. <sighs> Open with a blockless block. Full pow! this I could punch him I could punch both of these and put the ghoul there put the ghoul there I'm definitely gonna frenzy trap my wolf of that there is no doubt this blocks pretty good if I get the pow yeah. Do not get the power. Annoying. Skulls, lovely. I could base the tackler, but there's no real point, I don't think. I'll just skull. That seems a good idea, doesn't it? I guess I should just max blocks, shouldn't I? You know, I was trying to get this fucking wraith out. I should just max blocks. I wrote it on my sheet. Max blocks. Nah, it wouldn't have worked because of the fend anyway, right? If I'd pushed him, I couldn't have got 2D from the, uh... I could, no, it was actually fend that stopped me, either way. Oh, this guy hadn't moved, had he? I could have, I could have moved this guy to assist the fleshy, so I should have done that first. Ah, oh, Annoying. I just wanted to punch I just wanted to punch him and then get this guy free, right? Yeah, then he just hits the tackle just hits him. Okay. 
Okay, good. I did stun them both up. Ah, okay, I thought I only stood one up. But okay, standing both up makes more sense. He doesn't have a cage corner here, though he does have <laughs> though he does have a uh, a stunned wolf. Ah, oh, he's got the ogre though, hasn't he? I did think about the wolf going back to the middle after the blitz, but then I thought I'm gonna hold the sideline. Yeah, another one gone. This blitz seems too good. Oh, can I can I get there with a wolf? No. Should I move the wolf in first? Can't. Interesting, isn't it? I could blitz this guy to free up the fleshy to move in. But blitzing this guy means that the fleshy can go in there and I can block him. What I've got to do with blockless. And he's got a guard there that he can free easily. So if I want to move this guy down, then it's best to blitz him on the way. But this, uh, it's getting the flesh in front. I really like. pretty good isn't it? He doesn't have wrestle, he's just got fend. Better than freeing him up. isn't it? Fills the screen in. This is a bit tricky for him. At least. It would be nice to remove anybody ever, but of course that's for other people to enjoy. People, yeah, yeah, Dimmy, people who watch ice hockey really, 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 really like ice hockey. <laughs> How old D-Stone? Yeah, any, anybody who, anybody who, who like, anybody who watches it will tell you how much they love it. And it's the best spectator sport. 
and there's no contest and all the rest of it. <laughs> oh, foul appearance. Sucks off a reroll. And then he dub skulls. Two rerolls gone. Has to reroll. Gets the pow. Dirt bag. Dirt bag. There you go. It's the best sport by a long while. They are correct. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> obnoxious and obsessed. I'm not saying they're obnoxious, but you know. I've noticed the the people who uh, I am smirking, I, I I am I've noticed in my years on this planet that the people that the people who like ice hockey really really like it. They're like the vegans or CrossFitters of spectator sports. <laughs> That's what they are. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'd be the same if I watched it, but, you know, I don't know. I've, I've tried watching it and it did nothing for me. It doesn't talk about anything else. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Okay, good, no knockdown, but it does free his bodyguard, unfortunately. Shut up. Shut up. Lovely, jubbly. Oh my god, finally, finally on turn 19. Maybe it's not too late. We can go to there. I mean, he's not going to GFI, but still, I'll go back as far as I can. Do I just try the uphill to Kabadian? Even if I push him, it stops him banging down the fleshy. But then if he hits the fleshy, he can't 
I can just stand him up and then I still get this one. Oh, removed a player. Actually, removal and a stun. There you go. There's the the dice changing a tiny bit. Otherwise, that's illegal. Yeah. I don't know why I mentioned Kabaddi. Great, great. Kabaddi's the best spectator sport. There you go. Cram that. Cram that up, you cram hole. Ice hockey fans. <laughs> Kabaddi's pretty great. I mean, it just depends what you're looking for, doesn't it? American football's pretty good that you can you can have it on for three hours and, you know, you can do something else completely <laughs> and, then, and then look up every now and then and go, oh, that was cool. <laughs> if that's what you want, American football pretty good. <laughs> if you want to sit and uh, sit and do nothing for, like, seven hours, baseball's good, isn't it? If you want to sit and do nothing for five days, cricket's really good. So, you know, I guess they've all got... They've all got pros and cons, haven't they? There is competitive tag as well, isn't there? There is. Uh, that is actually a thing, isn't there? With uh, Red Bull, have the like parkour tag things all the time, don't they? Nah, it's he's, he's got he's got this guy gonna GFI. In fact. Yeah, yeah, he's got a GFI, isn't he? He goes three, four, five, six, and then GFIs to there. So, like, my, my look was maybe a little bit too late, but maybe not. And maybe there's a chance, right? I block him. Annoying as fuck. Blitz him. Oh. Pretty good. I guess I want to bust out the wolf and dodge this wolf and dodge him. I could double GFI him. Where, where can this guy go? He can't really go anywhere, so maybe he just occupies the... God. Oh my god. Actual luck, but it's kind of fucking too late, isn't it? Double GFI to tag him out. It's pretty good. Yeah, this guy just has to go there to occupy them. Okay, good. So the wolf has to dodge. <sighs> Fuck me. 
And this guy could have dodged as well, right? The, maybe he should have blocked so that I had the, the ghoul dodge. Yeah, maybe I did that wrong. But, like, obviously, this, the race much more annoying near the ball. Okay, so there's a wolf back into the game. It's just too easy for him, isn't it? I really need the, the wolf back. Oh, my God. Makes the dodge, makes the double pals. Makes the AP break. Game lost. I got some dice, but it was just too late. Yeah, but this, I guess, like, it's so much better to free up the Wraith. That was that was what I was thinking, right? The Wraith comes in there. Like, the Wraith in here is incredible. Like, incredible. But I guess it was more likely to get the ghoul out to, like, there. Maybe I should have blitzed, you know, in front. Like, I could have assisted with a ghoul, blitzed with a wolf. And not down in front, but I thought I wanted to at least get the fleshy somewhere. But now all I've got is a 1D. Well, maybe a... Uh, no, i just got the 1D, haven't I, with the... Uh, just a 4-3 for a 1D with a wolf. Or I can try and force him in this turn. I can try and force him in this turn, I guess. If I uh, blitz this guy, no, I want I want men back. And him completely shutting him down is good. Three turns to equalise and get a 50-50. It's probably better than the 4-3 one into one, isn't it? It's frustrating though, very frustrating. I've maybe got a 50-50 chance. All the cars, all the cars. Way too late. Just too little, too late. Man, if this had happened in like the first, like the second half drive, I'd have crushed OT. But um, it didn't. <laughs> I mean, this isn't an easy stall for him, though, is it? I think he probably just has to dodge. And if he fails the dodge, I've got a chance to uh, a chance to win. Yeah, that's what ninety nine percent of the game comes down to, I guess. GG, Larry. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, so three turns with a reroll. Two ghouls, two wolves. And he's got three, four, five, six, seven, nine players. Ten versus nine. And he's down two, uh, two blockers. So it's possible to get the draw. And the 50-50 chance. Like a 50-50 chance is possible. Ugh. Annoying. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's been a lot better to watch than to play. It's been. Uh, it's been. You don't know, GG Lovely. No, they've changed that. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's been better to watch than it has for me to play. It's been. I mean, it's still been fun to play. Like, do you know what I mean? Just it's. It's not. I mean, well, the second half wasn't very fun, right? Because nothing happened in the second half. But two of the halves have been fun. Two of the halves have been fun. Yes, the kick screen actually does happen now, which is pretty amazing. Do I just punch with both wraiths? This is a bit shit, but I want to really want to bang out the ogre, don't I? And maybe get through the middle as well at the same time. I guess this school might have to be the one to hand off, so... Yep. Please, not a deep kick. Has he got kick, not to tackle? <laughs> Oh, oh, shut up. That's a blitz. <laughs> uh, well, there we go. GG. At least I tried. Well, it was a good game. That's the important thing. That's the important thing. There was a lot of good lessons, wasn't there? Banging is the most important thing. AV9 plus is too fragile. To have a reliable bash team. Like, uh, Undead feel it a little bit, right? They, they, the zombies and the mummy, the zombies and the whites are like pretty fragile. And uh, if they lose a mummy, it's just terrible for them. So, like, Undead feel that a bit. Whereas dwarves and orcs obviously have glorious AV9 reliability. And you know, realised <laughs> realised the importance of banging. Maybe not completely, but you know. There's a chance now. I've got to get up to here, which is nowhere. Right, like that's nowhere. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then hand off to a wolf. Who then potatoes? Like it's it's absolute garbage. Taking the ball down, couldn't I? <laughs> so dumb. So I'll power the blood on four dice, okay, do. And get the AV break, okay. Removal, good. There's a bit of a gaping hole here for the ball, but never mind. It 
There's a tackle there. Okay, don't bother with that block. I have to use the last riddle on the pickup. No, I don't actually do I? I don't. I don't have to re-roll this pickup. I get one more square forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, handoff, so I can hand off to either wolf. So there's still the vaguest chance. That was an incredibly lucky uh, blitz mind. Incredibly lucky blitz. There's also this this ghoul, right? This ghoul is also a sneaky handoff because obviously he's focused on the wolves. So there's a sneaky ghoul handoff. Sucks a bit. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. I can blitz the tackler. can chain my fleshy forward so that he, uh, he can base him. I can blitz him to chain him out. That's annoying, isn't it? What if I uh, put this in there and then hit him? And then he goes one, two, three, four, five, six. No, no, I'll probably just blitz this one first. Then. Oh, fuck. Good. Good. Do I go here and then have my guys to protect it, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got to do one G if I ever get knocked over on foot. So maybe I just block this block. Um. 
He could double G if I stand there. The problem is if I get the push right. I'm gonna need to dodge the go the wolf at the end. One, two, three. Then I can't tag. Okay, I just need to power this. Well, he's got an easy, he's got an easy wrestle blitz, hasn't he? But at least I've got the secondary wraith scoring threat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the Wraith should have should have gone like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI, and then he could have blocked that. Game. He just brings him in, then blitzes him with Russell. Oh wait, no, no, he didn't get the pow. Okay, good. He's got one re-roll, so he's he's got dice to roll. But if he knocks me over, I'm done, which is unfortunate. Like, if I still had the reroll, I'd have made the two GFIs, just so that, you know, if I'd got knocked over, I could have maybe still scored or whatever. But that gets the... Yeah, two plus, to be fair. Has he got a GFI to hit, though? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, GFI to hit. And he's pushing me the wrong way as well. Brilliant. So a push is great here. Last re-roll. We've got a 55%. Well, a 45. Not double powers. Brilliant. No, the Wraith didn't catch it. Why didn't he catch it? Is there a bug? Some kind of bug, surely. I don't think I can chain this wolf forward. <laughs> like three squares. <laughs> uh, it's not really sad, is it? It was a good game. That was the uh, that was the important thing, wasn't it? I could chain him forward too, except he's got fend. I could hit the. Ogre, and then chain him forward two by hitting the ogre in. <laughs> right, that's how we do it, isn't it? Fill these three squares. Uphill. And then push him, push him. So I have to kill, I have to fill. These three, four squares. One, two. That's really hard, isn't it? I, like, I guess it's technically possible. What about this one? Could fill in these three and then push him to there, then push him to there, and then blitz him. That maybe that's more sensible. But I know these three are really hard to fit in. Fill in. It's almost too easy. <laughs> uh, The best way to get the first pu the first push to here is him blocking him, right? Putting a player in there. So then you've just got to put two players in, but then you've got to dodge into there, which you can't do. Start off with this. This one needs to be the one that does the pass. <laughs> I've got even fewer players to do it. Oh, 
I don't even fill this, it just could be like a 6 plus dodge, doesn't it? I don't think I can do it actually. Just don't have the players. Even if it's an uphill push. Oh. Diced! I had it! I had the winning play, honest. No. No. I, it was impossible, I'm pretty sure. Well, that was a sad end to the game, wasn't it? Just back to the main menu. Ah <laughs> oh, well, I don't, I don't mind that. It was, um, it was. Uh, he played well, didn't he? Uh, didn't d didn't get the damage until too late. Uh, you know, it's that's the thing, isn't it? In these games, if like if people if people are good, then your best way to win is by banging them out. And he sure banged me out in the second half. And I banged him out a bit too late in the third half. But, uh, yep, yeah, well played. Talk, talk, talk. Congratulations to him. Nobs OP. <laughs> Necro. Necro, not as crazy. Like, Necro, if Necro roll well, they're incredible. Because they just steamroll people, right? They get more and more claw hits. Once they get on top, they're incredible. But if, it's hard for them if they're behind. Um, that's the problem Necro have. Even in this rule set, which is incredible for them. Like this rule set, you'll struggle to find a better rule set for them than this rule set. It really is incredible for them. Um, and even then, it's just like, it's just the nature of the team that, that they're always like, they're just, they're just not secure like Orcs and Dwarves are, are they? Um, so there you go anyway no fine obviously I'm, I'm not bothered at all I would have liked to have won obviously because I like to win and I hate losing but I've taken this one well I think mentally um, even though I might have been a little bit moany again you've got to fill the air right you can't just sit there and like have absolute zero speaking in a stream that would be mental so you've got to kind of you know and then it's a dice game lots of dice are rolled you've got to like comment on the dice. Uh, no, no, I didn't think Nobs are better at all. Uh, talk, talk, talk was as good as I thought he was, right? He played he played well, he didn't do anything stupid. Um, he, you know, uh, he, he, he just... Uh, we, we actually got, like, right, I actually outbashed him overall, but the thing was, he got all of his in the sec... in, like, the the first and the second half. And then he won the toss, didn't he? And my, if my injuries and KOs had come earlier, I think I would have definitely won, right? Like, I got lucky with the regens as well. I actually didn't take two. I like took four or five. Um, so, just one of those games, wasn't it? He did a lot more GFIs, rushes. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I made more blocks, which is surprising given how bad the second half was for me. Like, the second half for me was terrible, absolutely. No, no chance at all in the second half. And, uh, yeah, lucky, lucky that the regens kept me in it, really. Um, yes, yes, right, yes. It was a very, very, very tough opponent for the first round. Um, then, <laughs> the worst part, the, on, the only bad part about this game is Dimmy never letting me forget that I lost to Nobs, but uh, it's completely fine. They're just a Blood Bowl team. At the end of the day, like, they still roll two dice blocks and stuff, right? They're not, like, ridiculously, stupidly terrible they're just not as good as the good teams <laughs> it's simple as that right thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic